Here is the news read by Bill Toft. The drilling ship Discovery was this morning reported to be moving to a site 40 miles off the Taranaki coast, where she will drill the first offshore well for Shell BB Todd oil services. <laughs> There would be no 20th century as we know it without oil. As we build a more mechanical world, so we use more oil, and we search further afield for new supplies. The supply ship Smith Lloyd and the drilling ship Discoverer II are searching for another possible outpost of the oil empire, offshore from New Zealand. drilling can begin, the discoverer must be firmly anchored to the sea floor. Eight of these 15-ton anchors will bury their flukes deep in the seabed to withstand the worst weather the Tasman Sea can muster. The critical placement of the anchors and their marker buoys relies upon the skill and judgment of the Smith Lloyd skipper, Captain Tissinger. launching of the anchors depends upon the experience and daring of his crew. As each anchor is positioned, it is marked with a cylindrical buoy. In this sea, it is four days before all eight anchors are laid and the discoverer is secure. Now drilling can begin. Spudding in. The first bit is lowered into the hole through the discoverer. It will emerge from the bottom of the ship plunge down through the water to the seabed 350 feet below, and there take its first bite into the ocean floor. The men on the deck can only guess whether the drilling has begun successfully, and frogmen and television cameras help get the new well, which they've named Maui One, underway.
costs tens of thousands of dollars a day to run the discoverer. Time is precious, so it's the night shift which makes the final preparations for lowering the blowout preventer. Now comes one of the most crucial operations, for the life of everyone on board the Discoverer could depend on this strange looking piece of equipment. The blowout preventer will sit on the ocean floor above the well protecting the discoverer from the possibility of a gas explosion. If there is oil down below, these men are sitting on a potential volcano. The blowout preventer is lowered successfully and all is prepared. The marine riser, a series of pipes anchored to the sea floor, is fitted with sliding sleeves. This allows the discoverer to move up and down on the waves without interfering with the drilling. The ship will sit now, perhaps for months, on this spot until oil is struck or results indicate that the well should be abandoned. This is the hard grind in the search for oil. Day and night, in sunshine, in storm, drilling must continue. It's necessary to keep adding to the top of the drilling pipe, extending it as week by week the bit sinks deeper and deeper into the seabed, and nearer and nearer, everybody hopes, to oil. The hole being drilled must be shored up and strengthened to prevent it collapsing. So steel casing is lowered to enclose the drilling pipe and protect the well. Even the hardest bits wear out and have to be replaced, so all the drilling pipe must be pulled up from the bottom of the well. 
while temporarily on deck, so a mechanical hand stacks it neatly into racks until the new bit is ready to be lowered once more. strata below the ocean here is hard on bits and frequent replacements are required. Mud, a very special kind of mud, is pumped down the drill stem to lubricate the bit. When pressure forces it to the surface again, it brings up with it samples of the rock formation. These samples can give the geologists a great deal of information and perhaps indicate the possibilities of a strike. Technicians and scientists are also essential to the operation of the discoverer. Their readings and samples and tests tell them what is happening thousands of feet below in the rock of the seabed, and their conclusions can determine the fate of the well. They can stop the drilling or redouble its pace. Everything depends on their conclusions. The bell and found a wellhead in good shape. It's not covered up. It's about two, three foot above the ocean floor. Looks like drilling's gonna be all right here. Ready? Fire! Seismic explosions, well logging, core sampling, the results of all these and many other tests are an oil man's Bible. Ten thirty to thirteen hundred pulled out of hole. Thirteen hundred to fifteen thirty ran in hole with new bit. Drill to 9,606 feet. 10.15 to 10.30, drop Totco, slug pack. 10.30 to 1,300 hours, pulled out of hole. Pulled out of hole, important words, which mean that after two months of continuous drilling, the well is deep enough. The geologists have spoken. If there's going to be a strike, it will be somewhere near this depth, 11,000 feet.
lower to the bottom of the well. This is a device which will seal the hole off and allow the oil or gas, if it's there, to flow up to the surface. 11,000 feet of pipe have to be screwed onto the top of the packer before it reaches the bottom of the well. It takes all day and most of the night. It's midnight before the packer finally comes to rest. The hole is sealed, the job completed. Tomorrow morning, the final production test will tell these men whether they have been successful and help the oil consortium decide whether their multi-million dollar gamble should be proceeded with. Production test is the major event in the drilling of an oil well. A flick of a switch will fire a small gun in the bottom of the well. The gun perforates the casing, allowing the oil to flow up the pipe to daylight. If there is a strike, condensate may be visible for a few seconds before it will be pumped into these tanks and taken ashore for analysis. And the well sealed off. For an oil man, this is the moment, because he knows the enormous cost of drilling a wildcat well, and he knows that on an average, only one wildcat in ten produces a strike. He realizes only too well that the odds are against him. Stuart McPherson. A crude oil find has been made off the Taranaki coast. Shell BP Todd Oil Services say it's the first oil to come from a deep well either on or offshore in New Zealand. It's reported that the oil is flowing of its own accord from the Shell BP 